Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a review of my new Samsung refrigerator. It's a dual door frost free convertible refrigerator that I bought recently. So in this video, I'll be discussing about why did I choose this refrigerator over the other brands and how does it function and what kind of power consumption does it does and uh, oh, what's good about this refrigerator, what's bad about this refrigerator. So start off with a few things. Uh, when I went, when I started looking, looking into the market at this segment, so the so choices I had is I had LG, I looked at Bosch, Liber. So Liber is a new German brand and I also looked at Panasonic. Uh, the advantage LG had over this one is it has a linear type of uh, compressor. Uh, this one has a digital inverter type of compressor. So I'll tell you the difference. So a linear compressor what it does is the regular compressor will convert this cycler motion into a forward and backward motion. So it works like your steam engine rail. There is a circular motion and the circular motion uh, creates a forward and backward piston motion which compresses the refrigerant and uh, generates cooling inside the refrigerator. So what LG did was it thought the compression, the circular movement is causing too much of friction to use more power. So they have deleted that system and created a spring type compression system. So this uses some magnetic activity to push the piston forward and backward. So there is only one motion, it's a linear motion. So there is a reason they call it as a linear compressor. So the advantage that compressor has is it is very power efficient. So at the same state of tune, uh, Samsung gives you three star rating. LG can easily push up to four, to somewhere between four and five stars. So the bad news for LG is uh, such compressors are very delicate because they need tighter tolerances and close construction packing to achieve that system. So when they are subjected to external shock and something, they are prone to failure. There are many cases of such kind of failures in the other parts of the world. But anyways, uh, we have a 10 years warranty uh, on the compression, so that shouldn't be an issue. But one thing that goes against in the favor of LG is uh, the door handles. So LG has a very, very idiotic design of door handles. So they make it sit out, out of some cardboard type material. So it snaps away easily within the period of 6 to 7 months. And I, had, I have an LG refrigerator back at my hometown. So I had to... Uh, the handle just broke away in maybe 6-7 months and there was no option to replace the handle because it's a part integral part of the main door itself. Uh, it was really frustrating because unless there is a handle, there is no proper way to open it. Uh, so I went back to a no handle design. Uh, Coming to reasons why I chose Samsung is uh, first thing is the design. So design, you look at it. It looks very elegant, uh, there is no nonsense, there is no lot of bright, bright or flashy colors and second thing is there are very good colors in Samsung, there is some other copper color and also and I bought this for a price of 26,000 on Amazon, uh, the delivery was instant, I called up Samsung directly for installation, I didn't want to mess up with Amazon uh, uh, customer care anymore. So the deliver delivery was decent and the installation happened within a day or so. Uh, some of the good things uh, I liked about this refrigerator, the first thing is this uh, power control panel. So you need not to go uh, and change the uh, temperature controls inside the refrigerator fiddling through all your uh, uh, food stuff. It is uh, present outside, it's very easy, it has some different modes. Uh, Samsung calls it 5-in-1 refrigerator. One thing is uh, you can change the freezer to power freeze. So it will instantly uh, freeze your food uh, faster than usual and you can change the temperature settings of your freezer from minus 15 to minus 23 you can also convert the freezer into a refrigerator you have something here right fridge on off you just press and hold this button for three seconds mm, yes it's into frizz mode the freezer is now off, off you can go back to the freezer as usual mm. And same applies for the refrigerator, you can press and hold this for 3 seconds, switches into power cool mode, works at higher state of uh, power, uh, cools your food instantly. And you can also put it into your vacation modes when you're traveling on vacation, just switches off the freezer and the uh, your refrigerator runs in a very very low power mode, keeps your food stable and no large power consumption. And second thing is uh, the power consumption is 260 units per year. So the volume is like 300 liters of storage volume is 324 of gross. Um, it's a digital inverter as I told you, not the linear compressor that LG gets. Um, so coming to power consumption, so I have my power meter here. So this is the uh, regular idle state uh, 
uh, it consumes about 77 watts and some it falls back to 30 watts when the cooling is sufficient and enough so when you switch on the refrigerator and it is running at full power uh, it uh, goes all the way up to maybe 260 watts and doesn't stay there for too long so you shouldn't be really worried about the power consumption uh, uh, one thing I don't like about this refrigerator is when you when there's a power cut and the power comes back it takes a really, really long time to uh, switch on back to its full power maybe some sometimes it takes almost 20 minutes coming to noise levels it's really quiet there is a very very bare and sometimes you hear this uh, popping sound you know it's usual with the frosted because they have a heating element behind that uh, but the popping sound is louder than the other refrigerators because I use an LG one and it's much quieter than this one in that aspect uh, so coming to the inside view so so this is the freezer section so what uh, Samsung has uh, smartly done here is so the cooling actually works with a fan in frost free refrigerators it has a fan which pumps the cool air inside so what Samsung did was it uh, started using two fans so freezer has a dedicated fan so that when you have some non vegetarian stuff inside this so the smell doesn't mix with your usual food stuff so you have a mobile, a mobile uh, ice maker here you can just twist and this drops down so you have a cool pack here so this comes standard with the refrigerator so when there is a power cut so this thing should keep your foot cold for a little more time so samsung also had some other refrigerator which works on the inverter as also so i'm not sure whether this one works so we have two door pockets here to store the other stuff and this one uh, here this doesn't do anything it's just a plastic cover just for show off so coming to the main uh, refrigerator section so this is your main refrigerator section so one thing i really loved about this one is the kind of space you can see so you see these uh, shelves are very wide and spacious these are adjustable uh, a second thing is this vegetable tub you can see this is a very very huge vegetable uh, tub you can fit a lot of vegetables in here can run you for weeks and this is a kind of slanted in behind so there is more space there uh, you can just slide sliding this out and back is very easy so one problem with this one is uh, the edge here this one is too sharp that my mom had cut her fingers once or twice opening this one i don't know why samsung had to do it maybe she should have just moved in such kind of edges out you know that small things like this really spoil your experience and there's a high chance that kids might just cut their fingers because this doesn't even have a lock uh, this has a moisture free zone and um, there are no buttons inside as you know because the control panel is outside so coming to the door side of it one bad news for you is if you are using a lot of beverages uh, no there is no bottle pocket here the only bottle guard is this one uh, you can really really uh, put huge bottles in it uh, very huge, huge large bottles they will fit in very easily it's too wide and it's too long but the only thing is you have too many bottles maybe you should have a start using them into the shelf again and second thing i loved about this is this egg tray so this has uh, 16 you can hold 16 eggs so that's quite big and when you don't use eggs you can even just uh, use some other different items in the door pockets and they have a top shelf it's a smaller one you can use for some small bottles and alls uh, one thing LG has advantage over this one is LG has something called door cooling so it's not some out of the world technology it is just that it has an another vent here to allow cool air to channel into the door section here so there is a difference between cooling of this one and the LG the LG does a better job at cooling uh, for all the items in the door section that doesn't mean the food spoils in Samsung the LG one is a bit faster and more efficient when you are in summer and you just want a quick set of uh, cool water uh, LG does the job better and the cooling is much faster than it uh, Samsung it's, it's decent there is no complaint about it I have been using it from the past one month or so uh, so I can't really show you but there is a deodorizer also in the back section of this one and this is a fresh room you can store some milk and vegetables this is slidable uh, so the sliding mechanisms actually do work very well and but the same problem this edge is very sharp 
can easily cut your fingers it is that sharp i don't know if it is the case with all refrigerators or just mine uh, this door uh, section particularly this bottle one is not uh, that really adjustable you cannot just move and slide it up um, but if I, if I felt lg should have adjusted some more space for bottles at least because one is not too small uh, Coming to after service of Samsung, Samsung it has been really good for me to at least my part. The installation was very quick and uh, fast. I just thought to uh, make a quick chat with the Samsung executive just send him within a day or so they got it installed. So, so services is no problem. Uh, but if you want to look for some other refrigerators, Panasonic is a very good option. The space is very good. And the build is fantastic. Uh, can't really complain about liber is uh, rubbish in its build quality uh, it just looks like a cheap chinese knockoff it's not up to the mark saying german build quality bosch i couldn't find any retailer to sell me the refrigerators uh, lg as i told you the handle is just pathetic it just snaps off within months if you use it very frequently so lg had really really very small set of models which had no handle design I think LG should uh, I should have gone for LG and second thing uh, I loved Samsung over the LG is this control panel trust me this works like charm and it saves a lot of us when you want to change the uh, temperature mm. and I think this the front portion is metal you can see I just got a magnetic thing stuck up here uh, so that's it the power consumption is nice the cooling is good uh, for this price point for 26,000 bucks uh, when I bought it, the price should have gone up right now. Uh, it's a very good of a deal, one hell of a deal, I would say. For even for up to if you're spending 29k to 30k, this is good. You can go for Samsung. So, I hope I've covered everything in this video. If there is something else, please leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.